in the ever-accelerating race for aerial supremacy, where the battlefield is no longer confined to line-of-sight engagements and dogfights, but extends to the invisible realm of data, stealth, and autonomous precision. Turkey has unveiled a weapon that signals its arrival as a dominant force in unmanned warfare, the Anka-3. This next-generation unmanned combat aerial vehicle isn't just another drone. It's a declaration of strategic ambition, an emblem of indigenous innovation and a formidable step into the elite leagues of stealth-capable unmanned platforms. Developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, the Anka-3 is a radical departure from its predecessors, not merely an evolution of the Anka line, but a conceptual leap. Where earlier Turkish drones like Bayraktar TB2 and Anka-S served as ISR, Intelligence Surveillance Reconnaissance Workhorses, and Light Attack Platforms, Anka-3 is designed for contested airspace. It's stealthy. It's fast, it's lethal, and perhaps most importantly, it's autonomous. The first thing that sets Anka 3 apart is its flying wing design, a configuration long associated with stealth and low radar cross section. Resembling the silhouettes of cutting edge UCAVs like the American X 47B or the Chinese GJ 11 Sharpsword. Anka 3 discards the traditional fuselage tail wing layout in favor of a tailless delta wing. This structure minimizes radar reflection from multiple angles, allowing the aircraft to penetrate deeper into enemy territory without detection. The air intake is carefully embedded into the upper fuselage, further reducing infrared and radar signatures. Every line, every angle speaks the language of stealth. But Anka 3 is not just about hiding, it's about striking with precision. With a projected maximum takeoff weight exceeding 7 tons and a combat payload capacity of 1.2 tons, this UCAV is capable of deploying a wide array of munitions, including precision guided bombs, air to ground missiles, and even air to air weapons, making it one of the few ACAVs in the world with multi role capabilities. It can be armed with Turkey's own MAML and MAMT smart munitions, SOMJ cruise missiles, and potentially even internal carriage options in future iterations, ensuring it remains radar silent during high threat missions. Powering the aircraft is a single jet engine, enabling it to reach high subsonic speeds and maintain longer loiter times at altitudes up to 40,000 feet. Unlike propeller-driven drones such as the TB2, which are limited by speed and vulnerability, Anka-3 enters the domain of high-speed penetration and standoff strike. With its speed, stealth, and endurance, it blurs the line between drone and fighter, designed not just to observe or harass, but to deliver decisive blows in peer-level conflicts. Perhaps one of the most revolutionary aspects of Anka-3 is its integration into network-centric warfare. Designed to operate both independently and as part of a swarm or manned-unmanned teaming formation, Anka-3 can share targeting data, act as a forward observer, serve as a decoy, or even perform suppression of enemy air defenses missions. In simulations, it's envisioned flying in concert with manned fighters like Turkey's future TFX Khan stealth fighter, taking on the high-risk tasks that human pilots would avoid. To understand the significance of Anka-3, one must look at the trajectory of Turkish drone development. The country began as a customer on the global drone market, but quickly shifted toward indigenous production out of both necessity and ambition. With the operational success of drones like the Bayraktar, TB2, in conflicts from Libya to Nagorno-Karabakh, Turkey not only demonstrated its ability to build effective UAVs, but to shape the tactics of modern asymmetric warfare. The Bayraktar Akinci, a high-altitude long-endurance drone, added further credibility to Turkey's drone doctrine.
Capable of carrying over 1.5 tons of munitions and equipped with radar, electro-optics, and satellite communications, Akinsey bridged the gap between tactical drone and strategic asset. But even Akinsey, as powerful as it is, lacks the low observable characteristics required for near-peer conflicts. This is where Anka-3 enters, a drone not meant for lightly defended skies, but for the battlefield of tomorrow, where adversaries possess advanced air defense systems, radar networks, and electronic warfare capabilities. It is Turkey's answer to the American X-47B and the Chinese GJ-11 Sharpsword, a move from drone operator to drone innovator. The Northrop Grumman X-47B, developed for the U.S. Navy, was one of the first UCAVs to successfully take off and land from an aircraft carrier. It features a flying wing design and a low observable profile, emphasizing autonomous carrier-based operations. While it is no longer in active development, it laid the groundwork for future American UCAV concepts. Anka-3 follows a similar philosophy in terms of stealth, autonomy, and modular design, but with a focus on affordability, multi-role capability, and regional deployment flexibility. The Chinese GJ-11, meanwhile, remains shrouded in secrecy. What is known suggests a stealth-capable strike drone with an internal weapons bay and flying wing configuration. However, operational details, combat testing, and export potential remain limited or unknown. Anka-3, by contrast, is being developed with transparency and export readiness in mind, positioned not just as a defense asset, but as a commercial product for allies and partners. What distinguishes Anka-3 in this landscape is its balance between capability and cost, and the flexibility built into its architecture. Turkey has learned how to make drones modular, scalable, and exportable, a crucial factor in the current geopolitical market where many countries seek cutting-edge UAVs without the high costs or restrictions associated with Western suppliers. Anka-3, like the TB2 and Akinsey before it, will likely find its way into the arsenals of nations looking to enhance their strategic reach without developing full-scale air forces. Moreover, Turkey is building a full ecosystem around Anka-3. The drone is designed to operate from conventional airfields as well as shorter runways and future variants may even be adapted for carrier-based operations, particularly as Turkey develops its own amphibious assault ships and light aircraft carriers. With the integration of AI-assisted mission planning, adaptive navigation systems, and onboard electronic warfare suites, Anka-3 is being built not just for today's battlefield, but for the next two decades of conflict. And it's not alone. Alongside it, the Bayraktar Kizil Elma project, Turkey's other stealth UCAV developed by Baykar, further expands the country's ambitions. Kizil Elma is a carrier capable drone with even more aggressive performance goals, including supersonic speed. While Kizil Elma is still in development, its existence alongside Anka 3 signals something larger. Turkey is not satisfied with parity. It is seeking to leap ahead. Anka-3's emergence also reflects a broader shift in global air power. The age of drones as mere surveillance tools is over. The future lies in autonomous, survivable strike systems that can operate with minimal human oversight in complex environments. With growing reliance on anti-access area denial systems across the world, manned aircraft face increasing risks in contested airspace. Unmanned platforms like Anka-3 offer the solution – precision, stealth, persistence, without the cost of human life. In this regard, Anka-3 represents more than just national pride or technological progress. It embodies a new theory of war, one where autonomy, data fusion, and multi-domain operations converge. A platform like Anka-3 is not just a flying wing. It is a node in a larger warfighting web, capable of integrating with satellites, ground stations, and manned aircraft to create a persistent, layered battle space. Its battlefield applications are vast, 
It can perform deep strike missions, hunt high value targets, suppress enemy radar systems, provide overwatch for advancing troops, or even serve as an airborne relay node for tactical communication. In disaster relief or peacetime operations, it could deliver supplies, map terrain, or conduct search and rescue support, all while flying higher and faster than traditional UAVs. And while Anka-3 is still in the testing phase as of 2025, its trajectory is clear. Flight tests have validated its aerodynamic performance and integration of weapon systems is already underway. Once operational, it will serve as both a deterrent and a force multiplier, redefining what it means for a mid-sized power to project strength in the 21st century. In a world where air dominance is increasingly shaped not by who has the most aircraft, but by who has the smartest, most survivable, and most connected platforms, Anka-3 signals that Turkey has joined the front ranks of drone-era warfare. Its silent profile may slip through radar undetected, but its strategic message is loud and clear. What are your thoughts on the Anka-3? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.